so now we are going to see same topic so in 1861 mendel first scientific explanation of inheritance so what happens in 1861 mendel gave first scientific explanation of inheritance so inheritance means what transmission transmission of what transmission of character from one generation to another so this was the scientific explanation given by mendel in 1886 next one is what he proposed principles so number of principles he have proposed so from this the most important principle was law of inheritance which was the most important principle it was the law of inheritance and he proposed this uh, law of inheritance that's why he is called as a father of genetics this you have to put in mind so if anybody ask you why mendel is called as the father of genetics so the answer will be because mendel proposed the principle of law of inheritance that's why he is called as the father of genetics this you have to put in mind so after this what happens till this time mendel have done number of principles and he have removed number of ratios which he have studied on pea plant in ninth standard he must have studied mono hybrid cross di hybrid cross 3s to 1 ratio 9s to 3s to 3s to 1 ratio so this is all ratios and different principles which were put forth by mendel and on this basis of ratios and principle which was put forth by mendel different scientists took studied these principles and on basis of that what they did in 1901 hong de veris form a mutational theory nutritional theory was put forth by hongo di very in 1901 so what in by mutation mutation means what sudden change but where does the sudden change takes place so it takes place basically in the structure of dna so mutational theory was put forth by this scientist And in 1901, it was put. This you have to keep in mind. So, for example, there are different types of mutation which occurs in plants as well as in human beings also. For example, you must be knowing that Arutik Roshan is one of the film star in Bollywood, and he has six fingers on his one hand. So, why that is? That is due to the mutation in the gene. in the gene what happens mutations occurs so this you have to keep in mind next one is what in 1902 in 1902 sutan and bovri found that the chromosomes are present in the cell where are chromosomes present so these chromosomes are present in the cell today we know that uh, in the cell a chromosome is present inside uh, the chromosome uh, uh, dna is wrapped around its uh, structure and uh, this dna is called a genetic material but till now it was not found by any other scientist so first time in 1902 this sutan and gori studied the chromosomes are present in cell and he they took the example or they studied on which animal it was studied on an insect and the name of that insect is what grasshopper tela apan nak thoda samjhto tar ha grasshopper varti abhyas kela hota koni ya don scientist ni ani tyanni tancha pishi cha atmade kay present asta chromosome present asto he pahilanda jagara sangitla after this this is sutan 
this both of them they gave chromosomal theory of inheritance so who gave the th chromosomal theory of inheritance so this chromosomal theory of inheritance was given by sutan and bovia this you have to keep in mind and what does mendel gave law of inheritance this you have to keep in mind next in 1944 three scientist these three scientist studied and the name of the scientist was Oswald Avery Mackin McCarthy and Colin McHall these three scientist first time they did a very remarkable work in uh, the scientific era and they told to the world that genetic material is nothing but it is a dna so genetic material is a dna we know that each and every cell of our body or it may be of any living things it is made up of what dna so inside the nucleus of each cell what is present dna and today we know that dna is a genetic material understood but except viruses so inside the body of viruses dna is absent so in the body of viruses what is the genetic material rna is the genetic material and what in by what is the law of dna deoxyribonucleic acid what is the law of dna it is a deoxyribonucleic acid and this genetic material is absent in viruses dna is absent in viruses as a genetic material but the genetic material of viruses is what rna ribonucleic acid this you have to put in mind next is what in 1961 francisco jacob and jack monod these two scientists francisco jacob and jack monod proposed a model of protein synthesis who proposed this model it was proposed by two scientists and name of the those scientists as what francisco <coughs> jacob and jack monod these two scientists gave first time model of protein synthesis and they have studied in this uh, bacteria and the name of that bacteria was ichersia bacteria so what is protein synthesis how does it happen and this we are going to see later time but in short if i to want to tell you that we know that each and every cell of our body uh, have dna inside the uh, nucleus dna is present and dna is what it is a genetic material so what happens when a cell one to form one from one cell it want to form two cells so what will happen so protein synthesis will take place so from dna it will convert into dna this process is called as replication from dna again it will form mrna this process is called as transcription and from rna it will form uh, uh, amino acids this process is called as translation and all these processes occur within the cell this you have to keep in mind so we are going to see uh, after this lecture what in the protein synthesis but here you have to put in mind protein the model of protein synthesis was given by this two scientists in 1961 so now we are going to see a last point uh, what are the uses of heredity uh, so uh, in today's uh, world we know that a uh, uh, number of uh, disease are uh, due to heredity understood so it is very easier now due to study of this heredity now we can diagnose different types of diseases before uh, invention of uh, this um, genetics uh, a branch uh, of science that is genetics uh, number of, uh, of people used to die due to different types of diseases but uh, due um, to uh, all the works which is made by the scientist today we can uh, treat uh, the peoples uh, we can diagnose the people uh, we can prevent uh, Uh, from this heredity diseases uh, this you have to do by so there are uh, diagnosis we can do of uh, 
any diseases diagnosis is done then a treatment is given treatment is given for how the treatment or which um, drug or which tablets should be given to such type of patients or which uh, which uh, treatment is uh, most important for diagnosing such type of diseases so for example there are different types of diseases uh, for example uh, uh, color blindness so uh, what do my color blindness uh, any person uh, this type of people cannot uh, identify um, difference between a red and green color and this color appear uh, for such type of people in green color so this you have to put in mind so this is also a type of hereditary disease then there is another disease and the name of the disease is what um, hemophilia in hemophilia what happens um, the clotting factor is absent within the body within the body means what within the blood this absent and uh, when uh, a cut takes place uh, on such type of uh, person who is having hemophilia the blood uh, oozes out or it comes out it does not stop due to what that uh, factors which is present inside the blood is lacking and that factor uh, is produced by a specific type of gene so that's why treatment and prevention uh, of such type of hereditary diseases which i have told you now uh, they can be prevented uh, nowadays we can uh, production we can do the production of hybrid varieties it may be of uh, plants it may be of animals there are number of uh, uh, wheat varieties there are number of uh, um, rice varieties so um, these all are hybrid varieties and uh, of tomatoes varieties understood so if you see uh, uh, nowadays uh, there are a number of uh, plants ornamental plants these all are hybrid varieties for example rose in each and every color you can get rose it may be black it may be green it may be red it may be blue it may be yellow in any color you can get roses plant understood black rose is also plant you have to put in mind animals so um, due to in animals in dairy farms we have seen that uh, number of uh, cows and buffaloes the genes are inserted it, this is all our due to what uses of heredity this you have to put in mind these three points you have to put in mind the question may come what are is the uses of heredity so first is diagnosis second is treatment and prevention of heredity diseases third is what production of hybrid varieties of plants and animals understood so this you have to study after this we are going, we are going to see in next lecture next topic okay thank you